I drew the Lego Star-Lord and today I'm going to walk you through the entire process from start to finish, so let's just dive straight into it. So before I can go and hit it with any colour, I need a sketch and to do this I use the grid method so you can see here that I have a grid on my photograph and also the exact same pair of grids on my piece of paper. And what this means is it breaks up the subject into more manageable chunks opposed to like a really complex image and it also provides more reference points to ensure that everything is definitely in the right place so I have that confidence that my sketch is as accurate as possible before going in with the colours and I did forget to record the legs there. But basically moving on to the alcohol markers here, I'm using Windsor & Newton Pro markers for this and something that I'm struggling with here is I've used up all of my ice greys and cool greys so I had to use warm greys which have a brownish hint to them which I didn't really want but on the visor here as well I was using some like ivory colours on the arm there I was using some dark maroons some umbery kind of stuff especially for the tunic here some like dark umbers and dark oranges and just mixing them together I'm never too neat with this not really looking at blending just making sure to stay within the lines and constantly looking at my reference photo just picking out the very big areas of tone and shade so yeah now moving on to the coloured pencils now this is the most time consuming part and you can see here that I'm really layering stuff up and also making the shadows nice and dark to increase that contrast and it's this layering that really gives that smooth appearance which I want because obviously we're drawing Lego here and you can also see on this blaster that and also on the helmet here that I'm using some dark blues in the shadows and also some lighter blues like they like light cobalt turquoise in the highlights and this helps to bring the colour saturation up of those grey areas so they don't look dull in comparison to the more colourful areas like the visor here. Just quickly if you'd like to learn how to draw like me I now have a free drawing course that covers everything you need to know to create awesome drawings from sketching to markers to coloured pencils to graphite work everything completely for free and linked down in the description so let's get back to the video. And on the visor I was just using some really 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 like light browns and some like darkish oranges as well and obviously some darkish browns in the right of it there just to give it a bit of like of a curvature and yeah just really building up those layers as I said um, previously to make it look really nice and smooth and on like the breathy bits there I'm using some really light blues as well in the highlights just to make it look metallic. So moving on to his tunic here I'm using some like dark some like the Indian red here alongside stuff like the middle cadmium red and basically combining these two you get the vibrancy of the cadmium red and the darkness of the Indian red and then combined they create a really nice colour that is um, in keeping with what I want. So moving down to the legs here you can see that it is very big patches of just like like not a lot of details but we still want to include lots of like shadows and colors as well so you've got those blues and you can see that there and yeah the final stage of this process is using the colorless alcohol marker to just blend away any of the pencil grains because what it does it dissolves the pigment and pushes it further into the paper grains and also just further blends the colors together so any places where I got a bit sloppy it can just like clean that up because again it does dissolve it and just mushes it all together and creates a really nice smooth surface just like real Lego pieces and yeah here is my realistic pencil drawing of the Lego Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy and if you would like a limited edition print of this drawing I'll have them linked below this video somewhere and yeah if you'd like to see more drawing videos just like this one be sure to hit that subscribe button and I shall see you in another one just like it just here somewhere on screen so yeah go click it because I think it's a very good video that you'll also enjoy.